can eye bag surgery be performed on young people? The short answer to this question is yes. Many of my patients tell me they've had bags under their eyes since they were very young. Essentially, this observation is consistent with the strong genetic basis for having under eye bags. Patients will often say things like, I inherited my dad's puffy eyes. As far as causes for under eye bags, it's important to differentiate puffy eyes which occur related to diet, lack of sleep, or allergies from eyes that are puffy due to genetics and aging. Eyes that are puffy from diet, allergies, or sleep are puffy due to fluid, the amount of which will vary. This fluid can be absorbed and can resolve with or without any medical intervention. In contrast, eye bags that are present all the time are caused by the presence of something called herniated fat. This means that the fat that is normally present under the eyes has fallen forward, creating the appearance of under eye bags. This occurs due to factors such as genetics, bone volume loss, and other age-related changes. Lower eyelid surgery is one of the most popular procedures we perform in our practice. Genetics being such a significant factor as a cause for under eye bags, I've actually operated on three generations in the same family. In certain circumstances in the past, I've operated on the occasional teenager. For example, I operated on a 14-year-old male who was being teased in school, resulting in his having some serious emotional issues. His parents were relieved to see him feel more confident and less self-conscious about his under-eye bags afterwards. Generally, our younger patients these days who have surgery for under-eye bags are in their 20s. In your 20s, facial maturing is relatively stable, allowing for more accurate surgery to be performed. For the majority of my patients of all ages, I perform surgery for under-eye bags with a minimally invasive specialized technique called transconjunctival blepharoplasty. The more traditional approach performed by non-specialized surgeons is to make an incision on the outside of the eyelids just below the eyelashes. In my experience, this technique carries with it a higher risk for weakening of structures responsible for supporting the lower eyelids, resulting in conditions such as lower eyelid retraction and ectropion. In contrast, I approach the under eye bags from behind the eyelid to sculpt the fat while preserving the natural and characteristic shape of your eye. The results look natural, as if you never had eye bags. This is particularly important for young patients who aren't yet experiencing facial aging changes and want to avoid any conspicuous signs of having had lower eyelid surgery.